an afternoon, cold and grey in winter. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously being pretty literal here. The students, I, I couldn't bring myself to write the students are studying too repetitive, so the students are at work. Uh, monotony of rain beyond the window panes. Okay, I've got rain panes, I've got a potential rhyme there, but it's not, it's an internal rhyme rather than an end rhyme. Um, it's class time. A poster shows Cain, the fugitive, and Abel dead beside a crimson stain. In sonorous hollow tones, okay, so I'm being very literal here, I think. The master thunders, an old man, poorly dressed, en juto, oh God, shriveled, I thought, you know, dry, and um, as always, book in hand, because I was thinking that in the future that could be a, a good short way to express, because um, uh, who was carrying a book, that starts to get a bit long. Um, uh, y todo un coro, a veritable children's chorus, singing through the lesson, a hundred, a thousand hundreds, a hundred thousand, a thousand thousands, a million. Uh, an afternoon, cold and grey in winter, the students are studying. I, I, that was my even earlier version there. Monotony of rain beyond the window panes. And then, of course, I realized that the poem is actually changes. One, the first time it's um, Tras los cristales, and the second time it's En los cristales. Okay, um, I said I was going to rhyme, so what I did, I got the rhyme. And that's my first version. Then I, I, did a, I said, well, what I'm going to do is, these are my rhymes, and I'm going to fit in the rest around them. So that's my first version. Grey day, rain, pain, class, grass, fed, dead, all told, look, book, chimes, times, million, billion, da 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 da. So, sorry, so, so you never went through a, a, a boring literal version then? No, you went straight to a rhyming. Well, if you, if you think you're going to rhyme, yeah, you aim then the rhyme, the rhyme is, is the structure you're going to hang the rest on. So if I got those points, then I had to fit in the rest around it. And if you do it that way though, uh, I'm not saying of course you can't understand the poem literally, but if you do it that way, isn't your poem going to become a bit... And what I was saying before is that what I find so interesting about the poem is it rhymes, but the rhyme doesn't really come through it very strongly because of, because of the enjambment, as mm -hmm. you said. So if you start by hanging it on the rhyme, then that's, that's going to be putting the money on the rhyming rather yeah. than, um, rather than the, uh, the meaning, as it were. Yeah, I think, I, think I, I like this text because of the formal properties. Okay, so you, it's an aesthetic decision you make. I made that decision. <laughs> um, what I've what I done, done here was um, I went through the poem and I marked as a dot, heavy dot, uh, a stress, and as a little empty circle, an, an unstressed. So you can see, say for example, in that first line, da di da di da di da is the rhythm there. I've written the number of stresses here because I'm sort of trying to get a regular number of stresses if I can. It doesn't necessarily have to be four stresses in every line. Uh, I think you know you can do four, three, four, three, but a, a sense of regularity, you know. Um, and you can see, so in that in that first one, I, I've pretty much managed to uh, maintain a rhythm that's alternating a stress and an unstress. So, cold and grey, an afternoon in winter. The class are at work. The monotone rain beyond the glass. It's class now. A picture shows a fugitive cane and Abel dead beside a crimson stain. In a ringing hollow tone, the master thunders an old man, poorly dressed, dry as bone, as always book in hand. And a veritable children's chorus goes singing through the lesson, a thousand hundreds, a hundred thousand, a thousand thousands, a million, Cold and grey, an afternoon in winter, the class are at work, the monotone rain falls on the glass. And as I proceeded to fit in the content around this, I became aware of um, dealing with something that's in the popular consciousness. This is a very well known text. Kids learn it at school because it's about school. And I went around hunting versions of it. 
and uh, I discovered that there were a lot of lots, one of the favorite activities literature teachers have in, uh, in, in, in primary schools in this country is getting kids to put this poem into audiovisual media. Yeah. So it occurred to me that rather than play around trying to fit all this stuff in, I should just draw on this popular tradition, the resonance that the poem has already. Now this may or may not work, but this is a multimedia translation of the text. Hey. Um, but it's true that that second stanza, next, next to the others, it really sort of has a sort of sharpness to it. You know? Oh, and the, the school text commentaries on this uh, just miss that entirely. They say, oh, this is the melancholy uh, remembering yeah. of his classroom youth and stuff. Yeah. Just miss this, this entirely. That's, that's not melancholy, that. Which fits in with the that's, repetition. Yeah. I mean, no kids would sing a times table for a thousand or a million. No, no. I mean, no, obviously, two. by using those numbers, he's choosing absurd. I mean, taking that fucking table up into the hundreds of thousands. I mean, you know, come on, that is a waste of time. No, but surely it's the killings, the fratricide. Yeah, yeah, the these, these enormous numbers. Yeah. Repeated through yeah. history, okay. Yeah. So what I did there was replace it with an image that haunts me. I mean, I'm sure this Cain and Abel haunted Machado. And this is a personal uh, implantation of it. It's a, it's a horrible, horrible scene. It's a Palestinian um, court in cross crossfire between the uh, Israeli defense force as they call it, and, uh, and, and a, a demonstration is happening down there, and he's telling them to stop. They don't. And uh, his kid gets killed. So, um, I just cut the sound up. Um, I'm mapping that on to a different story. The text can be made to resonate a long way beyond, uh, beyond Spain. And so I had a short, uh, a shorter line here with the grey day rain pane glass. Grass is invented and it's weak because of it. But, you know, it's there. So that was all right. But what I really liked was the running on of the line. Um, and so I, I, my last version is this one, which has uh, a longer line and can do the enchantment. So a cold grey winter in close of day. That's the syntactic pause, but. In class on a cold grey winter afternoon, the day is, and you've got the enjambment working there. The syntactic unit doesn't correspond to the rhyming unit. It's classroom memory. In class on a cold grey winter afternoon, the day is as monotonous as the rain down the pane. The classroom poster again shows a fugitive cane running from the spilled blood of Abel killed. With resounding voice, the old teacher, dry and shabby, scolds the class with hardly a look, holds a book. And the class says one chimes that a thousand times a thousand makes a million times a thousand a million. In class, on a cold, grey winter afternoon, the day is as monotonous as the rain down the 